Welcome to my Therapeutic Lifestyle channel. First, before anything else is said, I want to thank you all for taking the time out to come into the life of CJX. It's my pleasure to bring you guys a therapeutic lifestyle, which will consist of therapeutic fitness, therapeutic massages, therapeutic food preparations, and other therapeutic content daily. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell at the top of the channel. You don't want to miss a therapeutic touch on your life. What's up, therapeutic people? How y'all living out there? <laughs> well, let me tell y'all. I decided to go on a 30-day vegan challenge, which if I succeed within my inner vegan life journey that I'm going to start, if I succeed, I will become plant-based, non-GMO, gluten-free <laughs> individual. No, um, yeah, I'm starting this 30-day vegan challenge because I just want to just feel how I've been feeling inside. And I just feel like I'm not complete in my journey because I need to practice what I preach because I do teach people to eat healthy, eat healthy, and I eat healthy, but sometimes I don't practice what I preach, but I do eat healthy, but I be eating meat from here to there, and it's like, it's like something's missing, then I'm, all of these wonderful people keep popping up on my YouTube feed, shout out to Tabitha Brown, Akeem Prier, like, all of them, like, really influenced me, Pretty Boss TV, like, all of them influenced me to just, be yourself like if you're feeling it do it and so i'm going to challenge myself to become better and to improve you know what i practice and preach so in the meantime this is like a preview of you know my journey because this is kind of before day one because day one starts tomorrow so i'm going to be taping my journey and what i find in these stores like today i want to share with you because i just was just shopping in dollar tree just normally and i came across some vegan options like i was like okay yeah like <laughs> this lifestyle is for me i'm gonna be finding stuff stuff gonna be popping up at me like and it's in dollar tree it literally says i'm gonna show you guys like the findings that i captured today on um, the day before journey my vegan life journey so like i'm so excited like you guys i'm so excited and it's like flavorful I'm going to make this vegan journey flavorful and it's just going to come naturally. I feel like it's going to just come naturally and I'm going to just let it flow through me. Okay. So let's get right to what I found. Let's just get right on to it. Boom Chicka Pop. Non-GMO gluten-free whole grain. 140 calories. Sweet and salty kettle pop. Now, I love me some kettle corn, honey. Non-GMO. And then I seen like a salt, sea salt one. I'm going to try that out. And this is like some snacks I can have throughout the week. I'll see because I don't be just eating like that. I'm just let y'all know now. I don't just eat, eat, eat. Sometimes here and there, I have GMO foods. Hmm. Some sun-dried tomatoes. See, this is good for a salad, I think. I don't really just be eating tomatoes like that. But it says... GMO-free, gluten-free, vegan, no sugar added. Summer tomatoes. Hmm. Okay. Feisty nut clusters. Sweet habanero vegan low sodium all natural no preservatives non-gmo okay i got some necklaces i think i thought i had got another one okay yes it's right here this one is chili lime chili lime mm, 
we're gonna try that and i'm gonna definitely tell y'all how it tastes so bear with me on this journey it's gonna be rough it's gonna be hard but i'm gonna pray that god sends me through gracefully as his will will desire me to go because <laughs> i ain't gonna force myself i'm not i'm just literally letting it flow naturally through me it just popped up in my head hey let's just do it for 30 days and just see how your body reacts and you know how comfortable you are doing it because it's out of comfort of yourself you got to come out of your comfort zone to try new things and to improve your lifestyle and that i'm learning daily i'm a work in progress and hey the lord is not done with me and he's not done with you guys either so with that being said follow me on this therapeutic lifestyle as we improve our lives together y'all y'all this right here this is the one this is the one i couldn't wait until tomorrow for cry Boom chicka pow. I mean, boom chicka pop. You should went out. This is so good. Y'all know I love me some turtle popcorn. Okay, y'all, I'm signing off. I just have to tell y'all. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show out. Sweet and salty kettle corn. Just show out. Angie's. Mmm. You did your thing, girl. Hey, you guys. How y'all therapeutic people doing? I am so happy to be back talking to you guys because it's day one of vegan day. And guess what I have to go get? I had to go cop me the whole section of them, which they only really had four. And I was going to give me at least five to eight to just have because I wasn't going to just sit up there and eat them in one setting <laughs> like I did these. But this is my breakfast for today. 320 calories is the whole bag. 140 calories is um, one serving size, which is two cups. So if you do your calorie deficit, which you all should have a calorie deficit, either if you're trying to maintain your weight, lose weight, gain weight. Me, I'm trying to maintain and gain at the same time. It doesn't matter what you eat, what you have, or any of that. It's about the calories. Even if you're trying to lose weight, it doesn't matter what you eat. If you're vegan, of course, you're going to be plant-based, non-GMO, and things like that. It does matter what you eat if you're vegan and plant-based. But if you're just regular eating, you know, just a regular lifestyle of eating, you have to have a calorie deficit in place. And if you need for me to show you how, please let me know. Because I love putting this stuff together. So, yeah. So, my calorie deficit is 2,400 something. I don't know the exact number, but I do have it written down. It is 2,000 something for the whole day. So, my breakfast, I just literally had 320 calories. You know, because this is, I just ate, this is my breakfast time. So with me trying to gain weight, really, or maintain, it's it's depending on how I flow through it. I may just want to just maintain my weight, but we'll see. Because it's depending on your body. Like, you know what you see on TV or anybody that you like oh my gosh i want to look like that no it's about your body and how your body is going to take going through that process so it's really up to your body especially if you don't exercise regularly it's definitely going to affect even with your calorie deficit that's included the uh light workouts moderate workouts high intensity workouts during that week that calculates in your calorie deficit too now if you don't exercise regularly or don't exercise at all it's certain amounts of calories that you should have 
in your daily intake weekly to maintain your weight or to even lose weight even if you don't exercise so it's it is a way that you can work around eating what you want without exercising if you want me to further explain <laughs> i would definitely be a helping hand at that because i do specialize in that area now back to day one of being vegan hey no i'm just playing <laughs> So I'm finna go up in here, make me a chickpea salad with all my salad toppings and stuff like that. Work overnight, so I like to come home and fix my breakfast, and then I fix my lunch for the week, or I pre-make it, and that'll be my lunch I grab for work. So that's what we're gonna go in here and make some chickpea salad, maybe some quinoa or potatoes on the side, maybe one of each. And my protein is going to be in my salad. And yeah, let's get right to it on day one of being vegan. <laughs> Oh, now I did that. Oh, yeah. With potatoes, peppers, onions, quinoa, and brown rice, and my super salad. All for the week, week's lunch. What are you choosing to focus your energy on? We all hold a divine and powerful choice. Don't feel guilty for doing what's best for you. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, give thumbs up, share, and leave a comment on what you want to see me do next. Thank you for watching. On to the next video.